Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, all sorts of things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to subscribe and join our little luxury family that we have here. We'd love to have you. So I decided to put the mic closer to me today. I hope it doesn't bother you that it is in view, like, but I feel like that's probably the best way to do it, just so that I get the best audio on this one, especially because I'm not gonna be showing you guys anything that I have like here doing unboxing or anything like that. Um, and I'm just gonna be talking. So I feel like this is probably the best way to do it. It does make me feel a little bit like a podcaster. Um, which I feel like is kind of a vibe. I don't know how I feel about it being seen in the camera though. I don't really know. But if it gets us good audio, I am all for it. Recently, I've been doing some Chatty Thursday videos that are just like kind of uh, unorganized, just talking about things. But this one is going to be more organized, more structured. I have some notes here that I want to go through and I really just want to talk about what's going on right now. So I don't know if it's just me, but some of the titles that I've been seeing from luxury YouTubers lately are along the lines of like, luxury bags are over, should we sell luxury bags, like uh, not buying any more luxury, and talking about why they're done with luxury or at least a majority of luxury or maybe they're switching to only buying vintage bags. And a lot of times they are a little bit clickbaity for the titles. But the thing that has got me is that in the comments, it really seems like a lot of people are just completely over this. Now, I wouldn't say that this is only recently. This is definitely something that I've seen over the last year. And I think it kind of kicked off with HRH Collections video that was titled like designer bags are done. Lots of YouTubers responded to that in their own video talking about our luxury bags done. Are they not and like I said the thing that I've been focusing on is the comments because I feel like that represents a good portion of the people who are watching the video versus just representing the youtuber who made the video so looking through comments I'm seeing a lot of things that are like I'm done with luxury I'm no longer buying anything else I'm content with the bags that I have I've sold almost everything I only have a few bags left I've been seeing comments like that consistently and although this is not something that I'm seeing that is like brand new, brand new, I've been starting to see it pop up more often on my suggested videos lately. So there are some YouTubers now doing more videos like that, it seems. I mostly want to talk about why this is happening, why luxury is rumored to be over, <laughs> um, and also my thoughts and opinions on it as well. So why are people talking about this? I have three reasons that I think that people are talking about this and they all kind of relate to the first reason. And that first reason is the state of the economy. There's been a ton of recession talk lately. And of course that's scary. Based on what industry you're in, there may have been layoffs in your industry. I work in tech, so there's definitely been layoffs in my industry. Even if you're not personally impacted or your salary personally has not not been impacted, um, you probably have seen someone whose salary has been impacted. I definitely have. I've seen a lot of people be impacted by the recent layoffs, um, like I said, especially in the tech area. And it's a pretty big deal. Even if it's not affecting the money that's in your bank account, a lot of times it can affect the way that you feel. Um, what you see around you is going to, of course, have an impact on how you feel. And that may cause some lifestyle changes. Maybe that's causing some people to stop spending as much money, which is the case for a lot of people. Uh, maybe it's causing them to just be more cautious and more careful with their purchases. Maybe they're going to put their money into something else instead of designer goods because they're afraid that the designer goods are not going to keep their value the way that they have in the past. All of those things play a factor. A few other things that I've seen in some comments are people saying that they feel like it's insensitive to wear designer goods, especially things that are flashier and have logos and are more out there during this time. They feel like there's a lot of people who are suffering financially and flaunting logos. It's just not the time for that. And I feel like along the same lines, there's probably quite a few people who don't want to watch luxury haul after luxury haul if they see things around them are not going well. And I feel like that's absolutely understandable. The second reason, and like I said, all these are kind of related to the first reason, but the second reason is this rise of quiet luxury. So we know that brands, especially like The Row, um, Polen, I feel like is quiet luxury. Delvo, I've been hearing some more talk about Delvo. If you've seen some of my other videos, you may know that I really like Delvo. I'm a big fan. I used to have a Delvo bag. Um, I sold it because the color was really bright and I just didn't really wear it, but I do love that brand. But there are these quiet luxury brands that have been really getting a little more traction lately. Now I have mixed feelings about why that's happening and let me tell you why. So on the positive side, I completely understand why you would want something that is more quiet luxury. Uh, first of all, it's probably good quality. That's 
great, but it doesn't have a logo. So it's probably better for your safety. You're not going to be as much of a target when you go places, most likely, as if you were to be flaunting brands. If you had like a big Louis Vuitton bag with the monogram all over it, or like a Gucci bag, something that's easily recognizable. It just seems a lot safer to have a bag that nobody knows what it is. Also, peace of mind, because a lot of these bags have lower price points. You don't have to worry about having so much money in bags <laughs> at your home. Just having bags that are at a lower price point or that are less recognizable can, I feel like, be a relief sometimes for people. So I get that. The other part of it, I feel like, has to do with the dressing like your old money kind of thing. I feel like there have been so many videos lately, and there's always been videos on this. Let me just make that clear, that there have always been videos about how to dress like uh, someone who's wealthy, how to look more expensive, how to dress like someone that has old money. This is not a new thing completely, but I feel like the popularity of it, especially on TikTok, has been really, really big lately. And I actually really like the aesthetic that they're going for, but I think like calling it just like trying to dress like your old money or trying to blend in with old money is kind of odd because you're trying to be someone literally that you're not. And I think dressing whatever way you want is totally fine. I think you should do what you want, but like, I don't really feel like it's like dressing like people that have old money or like tr not trying not to show that you're not old money. Like, the, I think that that's a little wild, but I also kind of understand it because it's like escaping your problem. I feel like it may make some people feel better. They dress a certain way, they blend in a certain way, and it makes them feel like if they were born into that, then they wouldn't have some of the problems that they have now. So I totally understand using it as kind of an escape. Uh, it's kind of like playing dress up and making yourself feel better. So I really believe that that's part of it. The part that I think is odd is like, like how these videos are like telling you how not to get called out for not being old money when you're not. The other reason that I think that this quiet luxury thing is gaining a lot of traction right now is because it's more relatable. I think that a lot of people do things for views. So in a situation where people are starting to care more about having things for longer, still wanting nice quality things, but also not being able to spend as much money or not wanting to spend as much money because the times are uncertain, Brands like Pull-In and The Row are still expensive, but they're not like Chanel and Hermes expensive. And right now, I feel like the Chanel and Hermes expensive might not get you as many views as offering an alternative that still has really high quality, but is at a lot lower price point. I think that influencers that are specifically only in the luxury community, I don't really feel like they do this as much, but I feel like more like broader influencers do it, like ones that are more like lifestyle and general influencers, and I feel like they tend to just go toward whatever is going to get more views, and right now that's something that's more relatable than Chanel, Hermes, etc. Reason number three that I think that people are talking about luxury being over, designer bags being over, is because the quality just isn't there sometimes, and I think that you may know that I'm talking about Chanel, <laughs> um, but it's not only Chanel. There have been quality declines across the board, I'm sure, but definitely with Chanel. We all know that the Louis Vuitton canvas is not the old canvas. Like, it's, it's across the board, really, and so people don't want to pay these price increases for something that may not last them a lifetime anymore. The whole point of buying something like that was, like, you could pass it down to your child, you could pass it, you can keep it until the end of your life, you can wear your Chanel bag when you're 85 years old. Like, that is what the point was. That's why you were investing this money. And it wasn't necessarily an investment that you were going to sell later. It was an investment in a piece that you're going to use for a really long time. And if you're taking away the quality, then you're taking away that investment aspect, especially in a time where things are a bit uncertain. So maybe you're not super secure in the fact that your bag, that your Chanel bag is going to resell for about what you paid for it, um, or maybe like a little bit less in five, ten years if you decide to sell it. So if they don't have that and they don't have quality, like what, what are you paying for? One thing that I wanted to reference talking about this is the Fashion Law has a article. It talks about Gucci and what they did um, around 2008, 2009 when things were very uncertain. They kind of switched instead of pushing the Gucci logo things, they started switching and pushing more things that um, were more classic and timeless type of pieces. They started pushing the Jackie bag because it's more of a classic. They can push more that it has history, that it's going to be timeless. And people feel better about putting their money into something like that in times like this than they would something that is Gucci branded, has Gucci all over it. So I would definitely recommend reading the whole article. Um, that was only the beginning of it, but I feel like you get the point. Let's get to my personal opinion. So I absolutely do not think that designer bags are done. And I think that you probably could guess that just based on what I like in general. Uh, my channel is about designer bags. I love designer bags. And there's always going to be people who really, really value designer handbags. But I think that there's going to be a slowdown and how much people are buying and that's okay. I don't think that that means anything 
like luxury is dead or like we're just done with designer stuff altogether. Sometimes there are just slowdowns and that's okay. I think this has to do with a lot of people wanting to cut back on what they're spending, whether this is because of the uncertain, uncertain times or also think about the timing in general of it. Everybody was on lockdown for a while and then you came out of lockdown ready to spend money, ready to go places, everybody was outside. And then now we're kind of shifting into a period where it's like, okay, I think that we need to scale back. We need to reel it in a little bit, get some better shopping habits going, all of that stuff. So I think the timing of it really makes sense. Lots of people are still buying handbags. And even though the pre-loved market has seen a drop, which is why I don't think that it's a great time to sell bags, but if you are looking to buy bags, I think it's a pretty good time to do that because you can get some really good deals. And that's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people are snapping up these deals while the prices are a little bit lower. They're finally being able to get the bags that they wanted. I also feel like over the last two years, like prices of bags have been really overinflated and that's been like with everything. So now I feel like they're leveling back out. I feel like bags are coming down to what they should have been. Um, I feel like they just kind of skyrocketed the last couple of years and it was ridiculous. And now I feel like they're kind of balancing out and leveling out to where they should be. Overall, lots of people are still going to wear their luxury goods out. A lot of people are still going to buy luxury goods. People are still shopping. That doesn't stop. It may be less than before, but it's not going to stop. Designer is not over. But I do think that what we're seeing on social media, this kind of shift and this like leaving luxury brands, this shift over to quiet luxury, I think that this shift, a lot of it has to do with being relatable and being able to basically sell something or sell a lifestyle that people feel like is obtainable at the moment. But that's just my opinion. And it makes sense. Why, if your viewers want content like that, why wouldn't you make content like that? So I'm not blaming these influencers for doing so. Honestly, I think that it's good to have something that is less expensive, but also has really high quality. I'm not against that at all. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.